gag this over here. Yeah. All right, we have Ole Miss players Kelsey Briggs and Eric Assis. Questions for the players? Kelsey, just kind of talk about your night. How, you know, where'd that come from? Is that something you knew you'd be able to do tonight? No, I just I prepared and practiced, and my teammates and my coaches kept me up. And when it was when my number was called, I just went in and played. When did you kind of start feeling that it may be you know, your night that you'd be able to fill up the rim as much as you do? I didn't realize I was filling up the rim. I was just trying to win. <laughs> yeah, picking up off um, Kelsey worked hard at practice this last practice. Um, since the last game in the SEC, Kelsey came in and worked hard. And I told Kelsey last practice, yesterday's practice, the practice before that, I think two days in a row, I was like, Kelsey. If you get down there and you just play like, can't nobody stop you. Like you can score it easy anytime. So she came out there and she did what she did. What were y'all able to do that last eight minutes of the first half? Were y'all were able to pull away, have that big run, kind of take that that lead in the halftime. Um, momentum. We had to, uh, we laid back, you know, got back because we had to lead, but we just had to get it back and um, bring the energy. You know, we know we wanted to win, so we had to do what we had to do. Their, their defense pressure was pretty tough on y'all at times. Just talk about overcoming that. Um, the de yeah, they did. They had some um, great defensive stops, and um, we just had to slow down, including myself. We um, got in a rush and was rushing and trying to um, speed everything up, but um, we just had to slow down and look for find the open gaps in the, uh, in the middle, and so that's all we had to do. Any other questions for the players? All right. Thank you. Um, great win. Um, just real. Anytime you get a win in this time of year. It's big, and UT Martin won the OVC, and I don't care what league you're in. And um, if you go undefeated in your league, you got the mid, according to several magazines and different internet sites, CBS and a couple others, um, they number 34 there is the mid-major player of the year. Um, you don't have a bad basketball team, and I knew that coming in. Um, I'll be glad when people stop trying to trick us defensively and just guard us. That would make me real happy because – you know, when we play Kentucky and teams like that, well, we just go out there and play. Um, Arkansas runs all this trickeration, and, and Martin runs all this just switching of defenses and all that. Um, you know, I know it's a philosophy. I know it's what people do, and, um, you know, it's just what happens. But I'm real happy to get the win, I can tell you that. And, and uh, we didn't play. We played real good in spurts, um, but we had a lot of young kids that were playing minutes. Um, Tia Fowler, four-team All-American, one of the college sports magazine there, and, and um, she only plays 22 minutes, and we won by 10 points. Pretty good night. Shot 55% from the field. When y'all seen that? I about passed that when I saw that. All right. So good win, though. For the most part, y'all had the trickeration pretty well. We did. We did. They kind of cut it in. They cut, they cut our league to seven or eight there, whatever it got to. And, and um, you know, I got after them in a huddle there, and the girls got back going. But um, the problem happened was that we started, they started going to the free throw line. Again, we're used to playing a certain way in our league. It's our league is the most physical league in the country, and so you've been used to playing that for the last two months, where you just beat and bang for 40 minutes and nothing's called, and that's the way our kids are used to play. And I'm not mad at the way things are called tonight or whatever, but we had to do a better job adjusting to that, and that that slowed the game down. And when the game slows down, it gets us a little bit there. What were y'all able to do in the last eight minutes in the first half? We all went on that big run and kind of without Fowlery. It's called Kelsey Briggs. She's really good. She's been really good all year in practice at times. She's been really bad at times in practice. But I, I challenged her after the Arkansas game and the SEC tournament to practice hard for a week there. I said, get better here in practice. Don't have any, anything else on your mind. There's spring break. Nobody's in town. There's nowhere to go. Just work on basketball. And she did that. And I've, I recruited her to come in here and be a big times player for us in the future. And hopefully, I was hoping it would happen this year. It didn't happen as fast as she wanted nor I wanted. It was frustrating for her at times this year. Um, but the last week and a half, it started clicking a little bit with her. And you saw it today, it clicked with her. I'm just real proud of the way she played. And she was real dominant. Shaquilla Joseph played really well there. Um, Kiera Golden, um, she hasn't played. She's probably only averaging a minute a game since January. Plays 10 minutes there, whatever it was, eight points in the first half. Practice well. These young girls had great weeks of practice during the time off, and they practiced well. They came out here and played well. We're young. We're still real young. We're playing a lot of young kids that are getting better. We're, we're older with our, with our maturity level right now with Queen A's and a bunch of them, but you're still freshmen. They're still freshmen, and people get to change in defenses, and they're not used to that, but they've got better, and I'm just real proud of them. To win a game in the NIT is a big win. For the most part, um, this is their first time in the postseason. Yeah. They seem excited. 
playing. Oh, yeah. They're excited. They better be because I was excited. Um, you know, we know why we're not in the NCAA tournament. We knew it on Monday night when the selection show happened. We, didn't, we blew an 18-point lead at Vanderbilt, up 18 with 10 minutes to go. You got to win the game. That's on me. I didn't get us home. I didn't get us home with that win. You win that game. We get a stop against Mississippi State. They have, they, Mississippi State here at home, made an un, that kid made an unbelievable step-back jumper to beat us. If that doesn't go in, we probably win that game in overtime. We win those two games, win the NCAA tournament. That's how close this team was. An 18-point lead at Vanderbilt and a step-back jumper a girl at Mississippi State made to, to win the game. You win those two games, you're in the NCAA tournament. So as we look at it, we knew why we were not in the tournament. So now we put ourselves in the NIT. So if we're going to be in it, we might as well play with a lot of energy and get out here and get after it. And, um, you know, we had a good crowd. Considering our men's on the road, it's a good crowd. There's a lot of people that's heading to, that's heading to Jacksonville that would have been here. Been here. I would, you know, on, if we get to host on Sunday night, and I hope we do, um, I would expect there to be three or 4,000 people there. Um, you know, we, our attendance is growing, and I'm real happy with that. And, um, you know, that's something that's getting better each and every game. And um, we don't play doubleheaders. In OBC, they play doubleheaders. We can't count. Um, we can't count. If we could count the men and women's crowd every time we played, we'd have about 8,000 every game. You know what I mean? But um, women's basketball, our attendance is growing, and we'll have three or 4,000 here on, on, on Sunday night if, if things work out well and we get to host again. We did. What a game. Um, I wanted to announce and I, I want to, we're up for the Rebel Choice Awards for the game of the year against Kentucky. I want to give my game up and let that game take its place. <laughs> what a game that was. Um, I was up watching every second of it. Our players were up watching every second. We were texting the whole game. Um, Coach Kennedy and I talked after the game. Um, he, he let me know about 3.30 they made it to Jacksonville. So I, I, I didn't know if he wanted me to let the whole Rebel Nation know that he made it because he's not on Twitter. Um, but um, I really appreciate him. And Smitty let me know they made it. Lee, Lee Harris, I really appreciate Lee Harris letting me know they made it to Jacksonville. But, um, you know, thanks. Um, I, the only thing I regret is um, I wished I was there to watch it in person. I wish I was there to, to be there to support Andy. But I'm also very happy to be playing NIT, so I'm glad I wasn't there. But I wished I was was able to, to be there to support them. But I watched every second. I was excited about it, and um, we got to we got to keep that magic going. We got to keep it going. Ole Miss is a special place right now, and there's a lot of great things going on um, with football, with um, men's and women's basketball, our softball team. I went out and watched them play the other day. They're they're swinging at the ball hard, man, and, and he's doing an unbelievable job there. Our soccer, volleyball, baseball. I mean, it's every sport, golf. Everything's on a high right now. We had Dr. James Andrews in today speaking to our whole staff. That's really, really big for Ole Miss to have him here and talking to us about the medical side of things. There's so much great things going on here at Ole Miss. And um, people out there, if you're, not, if you're not an Ole Miss Rebel, you, Rebel, you better come join us now before it's no more seats left on the bus because it's filling up real fast. This game's just over, obviously, but is it, you, know, you know anything off the top of your head, Georgia Tech, Elon? I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, I know Georgia Tech. They got a girl named Kayla Davis. Um, I, I know Kayla real well. Um, I know her family real well. Antonio Davis's daughter. She's one of the best players in the country. Six-two wing player. Um, you know, she's one of the most explosive offensive players. Um, she played summer basketball for my brother. Um, I'm still upset with him because he couldn't get her to come play for me here. But um, but she's really really good. We'll have our hands full guarding her. Um, I don't know a lot about Elon. I actually watched Elon play in their conference championship game a little bit. Um, I was watching that from a bubble situation because I think they were playing. Who was James Madison? And um, they, they play James Madison real tough. They're well coached. Um, you know, they're a good basketball team. So we'll have our hands full. You're in the postseason, you're playing somebody, you're going to have to, you want to play. You want to play. I hope it's at home because we're pretty good at home. Pretty good at home. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank, All right, you. thank you guys.